Okay, Lindsay, let's see what's in our bag for tomorrow. I bet you'd like to know what we take to the Disney place. Oh, yeah. Back in the bag is very important. I'm going to suggest you do this the night before, the day before, because morning of, you're going to be scrambling to try to get there before the park opens, which is our recommendation. But anyway, I have this cute Disneyland backpack. Oh, very cute. I've had this for years. It actually broke recently, and I just sewed it back together. That's awesome. Same there's use. there's a uh, Disney World version, right? And that yes. one was like ten dollars for the purchase of yeah. something else. It was really fun. Anyway, okay, so what, what else I'd you got? like to have, a number one, folks. It's Florida. It's probably gonna rain. And in fact, tomorrow we looked at the forecast. It's fall now. It's October. It's really gonna rain. It's def gonna rain. And I'd rather be in the rain in Disney World than in the rain almost anywhere else. That's right. So why not? Uh, it's totally doable in the rain. You just have to be prepared. Happy Bye. check. that ink and paint baby Man, I you're love so bougie. that i love that is that very expensive how much was it's this? more expensive than the normal ones the like, normal ones are like, like 25 27 or the normal we didn't ones discuss how much this was <laughs> we'll just leave it at that shall we <laughs> The Bradshaws always smell good at Disney. Keep it fresh. This is a bag of healthy snacks. Do you want to eat got. healthy snacks at Disney World? No, clearly you didn't sign up to go to Disney World and just be eating seaweed the whole time. But if you have the healthy snacks with you, it sort of balances things out a little bit so that when your kid is spending all day long eating ice cream and pretzels and you hand them a, vegetable. a seaweed snack one time, everybody feels better about that situation. So I just like to have those. We usually I say we usually go through the seaweed and um, sometimes, you know, when it's other, it also saves actually a lot of money. Yeah, about like 2.30 in the because afternoon. Because the, like buying the little thing of vegetables or trying to buy a healthy snack, those are often really overpriced. So if you're going to eat something like that and you can bring it yourself, you can also save some money so that you can buy it. Because believe us, we bring snacks, but we eat everything. We like snacks. signature item I love to do is freeze a green juice or a bottle of water. Put it in a gallon Ziploc bag or a cooler. We like to bring a little cooler like this. It's flat. It's This is a really cool Wicked cooler. But if you put got this... got that for Christmas. Thanks, Wicked. Yeah. So uh, if you put your frozen drink in the cooler, that's all the ice you need to keep your drinks cold. Sometimes I freeze one of George's juice boxes. Or I think I freeze... there's a loose ice rule, too. So yeah. I think you should avoid ice. I freeze one of her um, juice boxes, uh, either the pouch or this. And it's sort of a slushy when she has it. And it's sort of fun to poke it and break it. Uh, applesauce pouch is another kind of great snack. Sneak that a healthy cost snack $6. in there. And then you put Lindsay's green juice in there that's just refrigerated and it stays cold all day because you have the frozen juice. Something else that's really cool, this is a really awesome tip. Um, the Disney gift card. We bring this every time with Georgia. My mom and dad, Grammy and Papa, uh, really did an amazing thing when it was back to school. We moved down here to Orlando and they were like, we're gonna give you a gift card for back to school since we can't see you. And of course they wanna be a presence in their lives. So what we do with the gift card, every time we go to the park, there's these little uh, soft, what do they call Lindsay? Wishables? They're called wishables. But well, what we'll are talk they? about that some more later Softies, too. yeah. So we like to bring that and let your kid know you have $20 on here to spend today or $10 or $100 or whatever your budget is. Um, but that's a really cool way for our grandparents to come to the park with us. And uh, I put that in my wallet.
So when we used to go to Disney and stay at the hotels, because we lived in New York City, we had to start the day with Mickey Waffles, right? But now that we live here, we're like, ooh, waffles are ready. Now that we live here, we're like, oh, I want Mickey Waffles. So every time we have a park day, we just make Mickey Waffles and uh, we don't have to stay in the resort, which, you know, that saves us a few hundred dollars, right? We're right. saving money, right? All right, this is incredible. It's starting her day. Thanks for making me breakfast. Mm -hmm. Find yourself a man like this or a woman. Okay, Georgia, let's see what time it is on my phone. 7.36, T minus 10 minutes. Can we, can we get ready in 10 minutes? No, I don't want to stress you out. <laughs> So it's going to rain like all day, but the I great thing is, it's not rain all day. I think it's going to clear up in like two hours. <laughs> That's what I get. The great thing is we live here and um, the stakes are lower. The stakes yeah. are lower. That's a great thing when you live here. It's not like, oh my gosh. I mean, a lot of people spend have... thousands of dollars on their vacation and to have it rain probably feels like a real bummer, but we're going to show you how to make a great day out of a rainy day because we've already paid for it. You're already going. You might as well like get on board, right? Yeah. So, so we're gonna make it awesome. So we've been to the parks a lot with our masks on, and uh, you get used to it just like you do at the grocery store or anywhere else. Um, but when it's wet. It's a little harder, to be honest. So I think we're going to see if Seven Dwarves is open. Our plan was, if it's raining, to do Peter Pan first, because that line can be really bad. But the rain isn't that bad right now. It's just sprinkling. What do you guys think? You think, think that Seven Dwarves is going to be open? Yeah, and I think we should give it a try, even though it's raining. Let's give it a try. There you go. Me either. I still don't know if I've ever been on Sound a roller like... coaster in the rain. Let's see how we <laughs> feel about it. Roller coasters in the rain can be painful. But a lot of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is inside. That's right. So let's see. Let's go get in line. I think we gotta get in line this way, right? I know. Oh. Okay. 35 minutes. Let's see. 35 minutes, and it's just social distanced out so that. It's high. Oh, that's a pretty good wait time for That's pretty great. Y'all wanna go ride Winnie the Pooh while I wait in line? Yes. I just said, look, it's Snow White's house. And Georgia said, that is not Snow White's house. 
It's the Dwarf's house. It's the Dwarf's house. Man. I mean, for a rainy day, we're still having a great day. We've done three stellar Fantasyland rides. And uh, I don't even need my umbrella right now. That's the good thing about when it rains. It really keeps a lot of people away. Seated, stationary, and eating, so we get to take, take off, off our mask. Oh, there's George's freckles. Hey, cutie. Oh, Georgia just lost two teeth. But amazing. One's coming in, and another one is got some time to go. Yep, we got some. I'm gonna look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> Man, it's spooky. On that side, I'm like, what is it? But wow. here, you see, it's the axe. Can I? Do so, is this a haunted one? mansion treat? I think so. Like, remember the bride at the end that goes yeah. like. Perry back. back. We're dying I'm to meet you. Uh, you know that's daddy's <laughs> meat snack. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the truth. This is not what I, I my ideal snack right now, but I needed a protein snack. I needed like, like some scrambled eggs or something. Yeah, we had a lot so, of bread. Yeah, we had a lot of Mickey waffles already. And then we have more sugar in our uh, future. So sometimes you need a protein snack. I voted for cheese, but um, Jared's right, like the turkey leg is a lot more fun than the cheese. I voted for it. Spooky. You, okay. you guys are incredible. You are. I don't know if this is like mm. ideal to go with a turkey leg, but it is good. Is it raspberry? Uh, yeah. I have to look it up. I think so. It said it was raspberry. This bird is like, come on, just give me a little bit of taste of Constance's dessert. I could like eat another one of these. I'm not gonna. Right. But I'm saying that that's my review. This is like a. I could eat like 100 of these. That's how good this is. <laughs> how would you feel if you ate 100 uh, Constance wedding cakes? Mommy, here's some uh, turkey leg bit. Ooh. Thank you. Cool. If I ate 100. Good thing I just sanitized my hands 83 times. Mm. Hey, babe, you want to share my meat lollipop? <laughs> I don't know if we should say that ever. Look, we're going to hashtag meat lollipops. We're going to put it right here on the screen. All aboard, meat lollipop, step right up, get your meat lollipop. Georgia, here's some water. She can drink her own water, but she has chosen not to, there you go. But uh, bringing your own water bottle is also key. You save a lot of money, you stay hydrated. It's a little bit heavy, but I would say it's totally heavy. And you definitely need it after the meat lollipop. Because that, she's salty girl, salty dog. Obviously the sodium in that is probably not advertised. Mommy, you want one more bite? No. No, no. No, I, th I think I drank too much water. 